So your son, uh, Trayvon, mm -hmm. played under Bo Ryan at Wisconsin. And Bo resigns because he wanted to get his guy <laughs> to be the coach. I don't think coaches should do that. Your thoughts? Well, I'm going to back up. It, it, it is true because in college, basketball is all about the coach. And NBA is about the player. Yeah. Okay. And college is all about the coach and the program because they're going to stay there where guys are going to come in and out, whether that's one year or four. And they want to keep a tight hold. It's a funny thing. When my son went there, he understood how Bo was. Really stringent, really stuck to his ways, and it just struggled with it at times. But I told my son, I said, listen, you knew going in what it was all about. Do you think he was going to change because you went there? So you better figure out a way to, to, to fit your game into what he wants to do because he's not going to change. And, it's, and that's the case. So when I heard about this situation, I, I went back and thought about my interactions with him over the last eight years when I worked for the Big Ten Network. And I tried to stay out of the way when my son played there. But I could see him in pull a power move. Oh, yeah. And from this perspective, because he wanted to have his assistant coach in there. And, and Alvarez is being as great as he is as a G, as a um, athletic director. At the end of the day, you're not bigger than the program. And I realized that a long time ago. And this may be one of those situations where uh, it, it may be a, a power play. I, I think it is a power play. And like, there, there have been successes. And Bo Ryan's been remarkably successful, like Division Two, right. Three. I mean, he is the state of basketball kind of is Bo Ryan. But he believes that. And just because you're a great coach doesn't mean you're a great chooser of coaches um you know I, i've seen his ego on display and his rigidity on display yeah. a lot of times i but i also think bob knight jim calhoun all of them have bay oh, yeah. they're all doing uh -huh. it well we've got him but if, they, if they're there that long they've established some think about the what he's been able to create ncaa tournament for 14 right, straight right. years he's uh, never finished below fourth okay uh, during this time there at uh, Wisconsin in the Big Ten. So he's established something that no other coach in that program has done. And probably, you know, whether you think about it or not, subconsciously, you get from a power perspective. Oh, you think you're the man. Oh, that you got some, you know, what, what you say, your voice counts, and it matters. But then again, I go back to saying it's only a few people that are bigger than the program or bigger than the organization. There's only a few and in sports or in business, whatever. Most of us are not. And, 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 you know, the power structure to be will let you know ahead of time that it won't work like that. Hey, even LeBron has tried to give advice on personnel. Yeah. It hasn't worked. No.